What's up guys? Welcome back to Daily Ed, where you get smarter daily. In this video, we're going to be talking about velocities, frames of references, triangles, and Pythagorean theorem. Now, the problem says, a boat crosses a river of width 70.9 meters in which the current has a uniform speed of 2.31 meters per second. The pilot maintains a bearing, an example, the direction in which the boat points perpendicular to the river and a throttle setting to give a constant speed of 2.98 meters per second relative to the water. What is the magnitude of the speed of the boat relative to a stationary shore observer? So like I mentioned earlier, first off, let's draw our picture because drawing a picture in physics takes us a long way. So it says that a boat crosses a river of width 70.9 meters. So we have our boat, we, I mean, sorry, we have our river and the width is 70.9, right? So we have a current which we can make it go this way or this way. In this scenario, I'm going to make it go down. So we have a velocity of river given to us 2.31 meters per second. And it says that the pilot maintains a bearing, an example, the direction in which the boat points perpendicular to the river. So if the river is going up because the river is obviously traveling the width, or at least it's implicitly stated in the problem, the boat is traveling the width of the river and it's going up. So we have a little boat. We'll draw a little diamond for our boat. Our boat is traveling this way, the boat, and that is given to us at 2.98 meters per second. So as you guys can see, you guys are already seeing this picture. It looks like a triangle, and that's correct. So the velocity of the boat is 2.98 meters per second going straight, going perpendicular to the river, and we have our current. Now it says, what is the magnitude of the speed of the boat relative to a stationary shore observer. So let's say you are right here, right? So the way I think about, about this problem is that as I, when I went to the beach as a little kid, I remember that I would, I would plan to go straight. I would plan to go straight from where my parents were. So let's say, let's say my parents were right here and the water was right here. I was going this way. So I planned to go on a straight line, right? But when I attempted to do this, I, when I was in the water, every time that I would look back, my parents, to me, were on my, were on my left side. Well, on this paper, it would be on my left side. So I was right here. I ended up here. So when I looked up and I looked back, my parents were not here. They were all the way back here. So that's the same thing. To a stationary observer, when the water moves this way and you're moving up, the boat kind of drifts this way, or at least th that's the velocity that your observer sees. So we draw this. So what are we left up? What are we left with? We're left with something that looks like this. We have our velocity of river. We have our velocity of boat. To our observer, we have this velocity. And this, this velocity will give us a magnitude, which we're looking for in the problem. So this is what we're looking for, x. We're looking for x. Let's, let's state that as v observer, v naught. Let's just do v o, right? So how do we do this? This is how we do this. We are given this, we are given that. Well, we just employ Pythagorean theorem. So Pythagorean theorem states that v naught equals to the square root of v b squared plus v r squared v naught equals square root of 2.98 squared plus 2.31 squared, which gives us a v naught of 2 meters per second. So as you can see, the velocity relative to the observer is actually much bigger than that of either the boat or the river going downstream. 